Good evening. It's Thursday, December 26, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. One person died while another was reported missing after Typhoon Ursula hit northern Cebu on Christmas Eve. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Based on the record of the Cebu Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, or PDRRMO, one person perished during the onslaught of Typhoon Ursula in northern Cebu on Tuesday, December 24. Responders of the Danao City's Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office retrieved the body of a certain Jonathan Kangas, 31 years old, in a Wihau Dam in Barangay Ginakot in the said city earlier this morning. Ritalen Jr. of PDRRMO said Kangas, a motorcycle for hire driver, was reported missing afternoon of December 25. The victim was reportedly washed away by the strong current of a river in Barangay Tugunon in Danao City. Meanwhile, authorities are still looking for a certain Erickson Jimenez who was reported missing in the town of Santa Fe in Bantayan Island. Four persons were also injured during the onslaught of Typhoon Ursula. Two of them are from Bantayan Island and the other two are from the Anbantayan. More than 9,000 families were evacuated in northern Cebu due to Ursula. The Anbantayan, with 8,886 families evacuated, and Midilian, with more than 700 families evacuated, were the hardest hit municipalities of Typhoon Ursula. The Anbantayan was already placed under state of calamity. PDRRMO and members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines finished clearing the roads of Sugod, Midilien, and the Anbantayan yesterday, while electricity and signal connection in Bugo City, Pilar, San Francisco in Camotes Island, and Bantayan Island were already restored. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. A man died after a fire hit a residential area in Sitio Abya, Barangay Mambaling in Cebu City on Christmas Day. Here's Kenneth Torres with the details. A man was killed in a fire that hit a residential area at Sitio Abya in Barangay Mambaling on Christmas Day. The Bureau of Fire Protection in Cebu City found the charred remains of the victim inside one of the houses. The caretaker of the house identified the victim as one of his boarders who works as a grocery clerk. Fire Officer 2 Emerson Arceo said they received the alarm at 12 midnight and raised it to third alarm 18 minutes later. BFP Cebu City declared fire out at 1.05 in the morning. Arceo added there was a power interruption in the area before the fire broke out. Four houses were burned while four families were affected. Meanwhile, four fire incidents erupted on Christmas Eve. A fire hit a commercial building in Barangay Banilat in Mandawi City Tuesday morning. An establishment was raised by a fire in Barangay Tingob in Mandawi City and a house in Barangay Suba in Cebu City. While on Tuesday evening, a fire raised a warehouse in Barangay Alang Alang in Mandawi City. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Tourism, business process management, and the rise in Philippine offshore gaming operators have helped pull up the retail industry in Cebu in the year 2019. Here's Charlie Coronel for the details. 
Strong consumption has propelled the retail business in 2019 in Cebu. This comes from tourism, construction, business process management or BPM, and the rise of Philippine offshore gaming operators. The industry continued to enjoy robust growth despite the minimum wage hike implemented in the region, which bumped up the cost in the labor-intensive retailing business. Robert Goh, spokesperson of the Philippine Retailers Association in Cebu, said Cebu has increased employment due to BPM companies and tourism arrivals. Go added the expansion of several BPM companies and the emergence of Pugos have also supported the industry in terms of buying activity in malls that have dotted Cebu's retail landscape. The construction boom is also another boon. Go said foreigners and returning overseas Filipino workers buying real estate properties in Cebu are also pushing up retail demand. Colliers International, a property consultancy firm, noted Cebu's retail market remains interesting and competitive since both local and national players are active. Despite the development of super-regional malls in established and emerging hubs and the entry of foreign retailers, the downtown area which houses some of the oldest retail outlets remains bustling. Charlie Coronel, Newsbeats Tonight. Earlier today, Cebuanos were treated to a partial solar eclipse, while those living in Mindanao and other parts of Asia witnessed a rare annular solar eclipse. Annular solar eclipse happens when the moon covers the sun's center, leaving the sun's visible outer edges to form a ring of fire. The photos you see on screen were taken by our chief photographer Alex Badayos at 2.20 in the afternoon at Fuente Osmeña in Cebu City. The post-Christmas solar eclipse was the third and final natural phenomenon on the world's eastern hemisphere in 2019. It was said that the first partial solar eclipse happened last January 6, and the total solar eclipse was last seen on July 2. Solar eclipses happen when a moon casts a shadow on Earth. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. The Golden State Warriors outlasted the Houston Rockets with scores 116-104 in the National Basketball Association in San Francisco yesterday. After falling behind by 8 points midway through the first quarter, the Rockets outscored Warriors over the next 13 minutes to open a 53-40 advantage. D'Angelo Russell hit a short jumper in the final minute of the second quarter to drew the Warriors to 68-64 at halftime. Kai Bowman also showed impressive driving layup at the buzzer to give the Warriors its 5 points edge heading into the final quarter. Draymond Green and Damian Lee helped the Warriors secure its win through scoring 22 points and 20 points respectively. Russell added 20 points and Glenn Robinson III had 28 points for the Warriors. Russell Westbrook led the Rockets with 30 points and 12 rebounds. James Harden had 24 points, 11 assists, and Daniel House tallied 18 points. Rockets is set to face Brooklyn Nets on December 29, while Warriors will take a showdown against Phoenix Suns on December 28. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.